Watertight means capable of preventing ingress of water during static submersion under a head of water for which the surrounding structure is designed. A watertight closing appliance is also considered weathertight. Weathertight. Weathertight means that in any sea condition, water will not penetrate into the ship. Watertight bulkhead. A watertight bulkhead is a longitudinal or transversal bulkhead extending from double bottom to bulkhead deck. Margin line. The margin line is an assumed line 3 inches or 76 millimeters below the bulkhead deck of the ship. Subdivision load line. Subdivision load line is a water line used in determining the subdivision of the ship. Deepest subdivision load line is the water line which corresponds to the greatest draft permitted by the applicable subdivision requirements. Internal watertight integrity. The capability of internal structures and their closing appliances to prevent progressive flooding to volumes assumed buoyant or intact. The internal watertight integrity includes the position and type of closing appliances, alarms, indicators, remote controls, and signboards fitted to such appliances. Further, watertight closing of pipes, ducts, and tunnels in the damage penetration zone is regarded as a part of the internal watertight integrity. Progressive flooding. Ingress of water through internal openings to compartments assumed to be intact. Down flooding angle related to intact stability. The minimum heel angle where an external opening art weathertight closing appliance is submerged. Down flooding angle related to damage stability. The minimum heel angle where an external opening without watertight closing appliance is submerged. Damage zone. The zone of the ship where the stipulated damage can be assumed. The stipulated damage is defined in the applicable damage stability requirements. Residual stability. The positive range of the writing uh, curve, GZ, after damage, with external healing levers into account. Historic development. The dash stability rules have developed from SOLAS 74 through stability curve 80 to SOLAS 90 requirements. SOLAS T, Chapter 2, Regulation 8. Stability in final damaged condition. The stability required in the full condition after damage and after equalization where provided shall be determined as follows. A. Stability in final damaged condition. The positive residual writing lever curve shall have a minimum range of 15 degrees beyond the angle of equilibrium. Stability in final damaged condition. B. The area under the writing lever curve shall be at least 0.015 meter radians, measured from the angle of equilibrium to the lesser of. Click here to continue. 1. The angle at which progressive flooding occurs. Click here to continue. 2. 22 degrees measured from the upright in the case of one compartment flooding, or 27 degrees measured from the upright in the case of the simultaneous flooding of two or more adjacent compartments.